So it's your boy, Downsize, and I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. And this one right here, I want to elaborate more on the video that I did in regards to Crip Mac, um, which is to say this. What Crip Mac is doing is stereotypical to what gang members do in this day and age, right? Now, no matter how active they are, because, you know, it ranges from, let's say, Crip Mac, who is just pure celebrity, pure entertainment, right? To say, a King Von, a drill rapper, right? Who exposed himself for what he was doing as all drill rappers do. So it's stereotypical what I mean by that. Crip Mac becomes just one of all who come on here and put their gangster out there, who make their gangster a show for entertainment. For them, it's for monetary value, but for the rest of us, it's entertainment. We are entertained by these people's downfall. We are entertained by true crime mystery and whatnot. We are all the more entertained by those things most relative to us and where we come from. So when, when I speak of Crip Mac being what every gangster is online, he is in essence. He's a fool for believing that he's something he's not. When, when what is gangster was a mystery. You know, like someone pointed out in a comment that, you know, he was drawing a distinction of what I was saying between gang members, gang bangers on the street, ga street gangs, and say the Italian mafia or whatnot. When they themselves are also stereotypical to that form of organized crime. Yet there's distinctions in the families and distinctions in characteristics, right? Yet and still, when it comes to Crip Mac, like I said, he's, he's stereotypical to what you're gonna find online, these entertainers. Because gangsters are, are criminals who don't want exposure. The last thing a gangster wants is to be identified for that because a gangster is a criminal. You don't want to be identified as a criminal because to be identified as a criminal makes you suspect in those crimes and it means that the police are out for you or so you suspect because that's the life that you choose for yourself, right? So... When when you see these people on their crit mat, it don't even matter. Like I said, their reputations don't matter. Okay, they really killed people like a King Von or whatnot. You know, these drill rappers, they really did that. Okay, so what's the difference? If they're just telling us about it, they're just inter we're just they're entertaining us by it. Right? I mean, there's many true life true crime uh, uh, sagas that you can find on the silver screen that were that were produced in Hollywood that are based on actual events. But those are recordings after the fact. What people is doing here on online is their reputations are preceding them. So when your reputation is preceding you in such a criminal way, but you 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 try to disguise this disguise it under a certain legitimacy. Oh, I'm feeding the homeless or whatever. It doesn't matter when you get picked up for a gun and the feds pick up the charge. And and when you're you that that alone opens the gates for the feds to watch all activity of you, who you relate to, who you're in association with, the money, 
and which directions it's going to, who it's going to. These are all people caught up in the RICO case. So what these gangsters are doing online, every time they open their mouth to say something like 600. 600 is doing all this talking about Big U, while Big U saying and doing nothing, really. Every now and again, he hits back and clowns, whatever, but he's not. You're trying to say he's secretly doing something. What is he secretly doing? What crimes is he committing? That you say he's setting homies up. What, what, what is he involved in that you would think that? You see? So these dudes become, their gangster becomes stereotypical. Hollywood. It's all image and acting for the cameras. For the clout. For the clicks. It's clickbait. You know, a gangster even, as I look back on my life, and I look back on my adolescence and my times as an active gang member. And I think about my own perceptions of what it is. You know, how I identify. You know, I mean, it's, 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 it's brought up by the environment. It's cultured in us. And, and so my perceptions of it then were being nurtured by the likes of NWA, EZE, and, you know, whatnot, because this is, this is at a time when, you know, we're actively, or I'm actively doing what I'm doing here. Yeah, when I look at it, like I said, there's only certain differences because of the characters. You're talking from one generation to the next. So, so, so this generation, they don't do gang, gangster, gang banging or none of that like we did. As deadly as it is. The numbers statistically don't prove that they're, that they're doing more than we did because Justice Department statistics show that uh, violent crime pinnacled in the United States in the 1990s, in the decade of the 1990s. For as explosive as things are now. It's only that because of the number of rappers who are getting it now. So. This is the point in that. You know, we're just, they're just entertainers. No matter how deadly and how serious and how active and how real, whatever. It's just entertainment. They're selling their souls for the click so they can get paid. They numb themselves to the pain with all these pills and 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 all this all this codeine and nicotine and all these drugs to conceal what they really feel inside. The hopeless despair, the lonely isolation, even in a room filled with people. Because if you've been there and you've done that, you know that for a fact. But just so everyone understands what I mean by all that. And I'll do, I'll speak more so about, you know, organized crime, the mafia, the mafias and its distinctions and its stereotypical relations. You know what I mean? The same with the cartels because people don't understand this. It's the delusion of grandeur, the deceit of the devil. And so long as we continue to entertain the deeds of the devil, even to listen and see and whatever and react to, then we have no we have no hope of saving our children from ourselves and their selves also. Peace. Mel.